Uh, we have visitors at Taronga come and see the sharks to learn a little bit more about their biology, to appreciate the diversity of amazing shark and marine species that we have in Sydney Harbour, uh, learn about the importance of sharks in our ecosystem and also learn a little bit more about the research and conservation work that Taronga does. So we are hoping to learn a little bit more about their social behaviour. In the wild, we're seeing Port Jackson's sharks aggregating together in close groups. We don't know whether they're interacting because they want to, or is it because that they've got um, limited sites where they can rest or forage. We also want to know a bit more about where they go outside the breeding season and what they do at each of these places. The sharks will be released back into the wild in November, which actually coincides with the time that they would naturally leave Sydney Harbour to migrate south. Uh, we'll be tracking these sharks though for the next 10 years with acoustic transmitters, which are going to be collecting um, very valuable data for us. Australia is a really important region for sharks. We have over 182 species of sharks in our waters and 40% of those are actually endemic to Australia. So we have an important role and responsibility to learn more about their sharks and help improve their conservation in, and ensure their survival in the future.